Good afternoon, folks. I'm going to show you how I make my favorite soup. It's goat meat. This is goat meat. I buy it at my favorite Mexican market. It's called Guanajuato. And this is chunks of goat meat. And I bought three packages of goat meat, which is around, I got 10 pounds here of goat meat. It's, um, it costs four dollars three dollars and forty cents a pound let me see how much that is per pound. so three dollars and forty cents a pound for goat meat times 55 is 187 pesos per pound or you multiply multiply that by two because you guys do kilos so 374 pesos per kilo and I've got a few vegetables here let me show you in the camera for you so I got potatoes cabbage celery and onions and I'm gonna cook it in a soup blend folks I recommend you guys doing this. I don't know if y'all know this, but you get a tub, you put a plastic bag over it, and you dump all your trash debris in it. It makes it a lot easier to clean up. But anyways, I will show you what I do when I make my soup. I love cooking goat soup, but I'll be right back with the video. Hello folks, so this is my favorite pan to cook in. It's a, a professional restaurant type pan. I, I like cooking a lot of soup. It's pretty big. You can see by the size of the stove, I have to use like four burners to cover the bottom of the pan. But I will be using that to make my goat soup. And I should be back in a moment. So folks, um, so I cleaned all the, the goat meat out. This is about how much grease or fat I got out of it. Maybe a pound, maybe less of 10 pounds of goat meat. And what I do, I'm just cleaning it out. I don't add anything to it. Like I know my Filipina uses um, vinegar to wash most stuff off, but I don't. So I just soak it in water and just trying to get all the blood and stuff off of it. And I just wash it off. Just get all that water. So this right here is nicely clean pork meat or goat meat and I bring it over here to my pan and drop it off into the pan. And you caught, you got quite a lot of goat meat there for 10 pounds worth. Look at all that. That's pretty good right there. So, um, I, I also put water in there, but I found that if I use this right here, I'll show you. Some beef stock and mix it in there with water. It gives it a nice flavorful soup. So I'm going to do that, pour these beef stocks in there and mix my water with it and start my soup up. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, folks, so now you want to clean your veggies, whatever vegetables you can add. I got celery right here. I wash them. I make sure everything is nice and dirt free. If you find anything that needs to be cleaned, you just redo them. But 
time to chop them up. I've got these color coded cutting boards. I typically just use one, it doesn't matter. I mean, they got for different meats, they got a different color for meat, different color for vegetables. But I don't want to go through cleaning a bunch of different colored cutting boards. So I just use the same one. I wash it real good with soap and everything. And then I reuse it again for whatever I need to cut. But cut your vegetables. What's great about these boards is look at this. You just pour them right in there. They're bendable, they're great. I've got my onions here, chives or whatever they call them. I like to cut the ends of it just to make sure I'm not getting any dirt in there. I did wash them, but I never like eating the ends of them because they're most of the time they're a little wilty. potatoes. I particularly, you can clean and peel the potatoes if you want. I kind of like using the whole skin because it's where the nice fibers are at. Just got to make sure you wash them good, folks. It's too soon to put the vegetables in the pan because goat meat it takes a little time to cook it's a little tough so you got to make sure you cook it long enough so it softens the meat up goat meat is one of the healthiest meat you can get it's got a lot less fat than most meat does I mean a 10 pound but amount of goat meat I only ended up with less than a pound of fat the only issue is when you do make your soup, you're gonna see that there's a lot of fat floating on top. And what you wanna do is put your whole soup in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next morning you'll see that the fat is frozen on top, and you just pull that frozen, not frozen, but stiff, greasy, greasy top on the soup, you just clean that out and then you got a soup that has hardly any juice of fat that dissolves in with the soup. It gets it more leaner, you don't have to eat all that liquid fat that is in the soup. So I save it overnight and, and wash it out, take out all that layer of fat that's just floating on top better that way you don't have to eat so much fat fat juice on your soup I particularly don't like all that greasy on my soup my grandma used to make soup and she used to have oil just regular cooking oil to to her soup and it pissed me off folks I, I never understood why she would put cooking oil 
in soup, but she would claim it gives it more flavor, but I didn't particularly enjoy it. There's some cabbage. Cabbage is good for soup. Any vegetable is really good for soup, folks. You can't go wrong with vegetables. Gives it a good flavor. It's good for you, eating your veggies. I'm not that much of a veggie eater, but I know it's good for me, so I tend to use it in my soups. And Jen, when she cooks her soup, she likes meats and vegetables, which I'm, I'm happy to eat when she makes me soup. And there you go, folks. It's all done. You got your vegetables waiting to put in the soup. Look at that. All ready to go. You put this in the refrigerator and you just wait until your, your goat meat is almost cooked. Here, I'll show you how the goat meat's coming along. Nice, nice boiling pan. And it's still hasn't reached high temperature yet but as you can tell here I'll show you I got three burners going because the pan is so big I have to I have to have to use three burners to cover the width of that pan but it makes good soup the pan I can make a lot of it and I love goat soup it's very tasty my goddaughter who is 15 years old she's loving my goat soup since she was maybe about nine and I love goat meat uh, it's hard to find in the Philippines every time I go to the store and ask for goat meat or even in the Palenque nobody has goat meat we found that one restaurant in Subic Bay called uh, uh, Mark's. We showed you me eating goat meat. They were the only place that I know that had goat meat, but it is what it is. When I do have my own home in the Philippines, I'm going to raise some baby goats and, and raise them myself so I can always have goat meat. But anyways, folks, I'll be back with the video once the food is almost done, and I'll show you what the food comes out like. But anyways, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my video. Hello, folks. So I added a few ingredients in my soup. As you see, the color changed because I added two small cans of tomato sauce. I'll show you what size tomato sauce I use. I use these size right here. Two cans of tomato sauce, 15 ounce cans. There's my pantry, folks. But I also added seasoning, and here's where the seasoning I'm, I added. So I also added seasoning. I added garlic, salt, pepper, ginger turmeric and oregano and I mix all that in into my soup and it's going to give it a nice flavor I I can't give you the ingredients of how much I put because I go by taste I like tasting my soup I always taste my soup and as as I cook it I'll know here's my little tasty spoon I did add garlic as well and all that is boiling in right now. Like I said, the goat has to cook for about an hour and a half. So it'd be nice and tender. And it'll give the soup that goat flavor that's delicious. But anyways, folks, I'll be back with the finished product. And for, for you to see how it comes out. And I will be tasting it and let you know. Thank you, folks. Hasta la vista. Welcome back folks. So after cooking for over an hour and a half, 
I'm gonna check the meat, the goat meat, and see if it's tender. It's tender enough. It's tender enough. I'll go ahead and add the vegetables. soup tastes like. Oh yes. I'm going to go ahead and drop the vegetables and mix it all in. Let it cook for another 30 minutes and we should be ready to eat. It's a lot of vegetables folks. I like a lot of vegetables because it's good for me. bit too much I think I might have to freeze the rest of it maybe use half yeah I think I got a little too much veggies there folks so I think half would be just plenty I think half should be just plenty let's see what that looks like Mix it all in. Oh yes, it's gonna be just good. Let it simmer for another 30 minutes. I'll let you check it out. Look at that, beautiful. Nice color, everything's beautiful. So I'll be back later and let you know when it's ready to eat. I will try it out. Thank you, folks. We'll see you a bit. Hello, folks. So the soup is done. I just got to wait for it to cool off. And it looks fantastic. Look at those chunks of goat meat. Oh yeah, I can't wait to try it. But since I live alone, I make this big pot of soup. And what I do is I freeze, put them in Tupperware containers, about five of them. And I freeze it. And then I have soup that will last me for about three weeks. Maybe less if I give some away. But... There you go, folks. Good goat soup. But anyways, thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you for watching my videos. God bless you all. Be safe. Be good to each other. Be kind. Don't forget, if you can afford to give a dollar or two, go for it, folks. You can afford it. Give some pesos to your waiter, your waitress, whoever's serving you. Be kind to each other. Be nice. Make somebody smile. God bless you all. Hasta la vista. Sayonara. Riverderci. Palam, palam. Take care, folks. And you know, like they say in those other channels, don't forget to subscribe and like and ring the bell. Bing, bing, bing. Yes, ring the bell, folks. Bing, bing, bing. Take care. Hasta la vista. Sayonara. You guys are still here? Go. Just go. Go about your business now. Take care now. What? You guys following me? Come on. You don't got something better to do? Stop following me. Take care now. Bye-bye. Palam-palam. 
<laughs> you guys are funny. All right, take care. You guys are still here. Come on, people. Come on. I'll do another video. I promise I'll do another video. You guys take care. <laughs> Hello, folks. So here's my finished suit. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at these nice chunks of meat. Look at that. Yum, yum. Nice chunks of beef. Or, I mean, goat meat. Oh yeah, folks, the soup is fantastic. Check that out. Nice chunks of goat meat. Got some good vegetables in here. It's very good, folks. Masada. Masada. Goat meat soup, folks. Mmm, very good. Masala. Thank you, folks, for watching my quick food cooking video. Like I said, me and Jen love to cook, so that's why I did it. Again, I want to thank all my subscribers. God bless you all. Be kind, be generous to each other. If you can help anybody in the Philippines, give a dollar or two or 100 pesos or 200 pesos. They could use it. Anyways, hasta la vista, sayonara, river dersi, palam palam, take care. And like they say in other channels, don't forget to subscribe and like and ring the bell. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. You know. What, you still here? Come on. Let me eat. Let me enjoy my good coat suit. You guys take care now. Bye-bye. Come on, people, you guys are still here? Don't you have something to do? I know you like my videos, but I'm finished. I already said palam palam, take care. Hasta la vista, sayonara, arrivederci. Come on, people. I'm gonna have to cut you guys short. Take care, baby, take care. Hi, baby.